bill will impose significant penalties for breaching the minimum age obligation. This will be as high as $49.5 million for bodies corporate, consistent with serious offences set out in the Privacy Act 1988 and the Competition and Consumer Act 2010. But for too many young Australians, social media can be harmful. Almost two thirds of 14 to 17 year old Australians have viewed extremely harmful content online, including drug abuse, suicide or self-harm, as well as violent material. Social media has a social responsibility. We know they can and should do better to address harms on their platforms. That's why we're making big changes to hold platforms to account for user safety. I think so, and I, and I hope so. I think for for a couple of reasons, we have the technology already today that exists. We have strong regulatory frameworks like the Privacy Act uh, and the Digital Identity Act that exist and are, are coming into force. I think the key is how do we apply those in a in a way that protects young people online, protects everybody across social media interactions. So the building blocks are in place. I think the trial will hopefully really just pull together the how do we get this right and how do we make sure we put all those building blocks in place in the right order? Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful that, yeah, the six to 12 months is a, is a, a good sensible time frame to, to really, um, yeah, really think this through. Technology is there and, and ready and already in place and Australians are getting ready and, and, and starting to use it day to day. I think the, the key thing um, for me and something that, that we see sort of uh, across the, across the con station in the country is how do you make sure that we implement this and, and get this right in a way that is privacy preserving and we give Australians choice and we don't continue to, to overshare the amount of data or over collect the amount of personal information from, from Australians. Mm -hmm.